This video is going to be a very simple tutorial on how to make your AI chatbot to automatically open up on your website and how to make a pop-up message somewhat similar to this or something like this on top of your AI chatbot. Before getting the build, I need to mention that this whole build is going to be no code friendly. Even though you might see a lot of code in this whole build, you don't have to learn any code in this whole build. So let's get into it. Now for the video, I'm going to use the most famous AI chatbot building platform. That's going to be Chatbot Builder AI, WordPress and Voiceflow. Now a lot of people in the AI automation field, they use only these three AI chatbot building platforms and we can make sure that we cover every single one of them. So let's start with Chatbot Builder AI and how you can make Chatbot Builder AI's chatbot to op open up automatically so as you can see this is my platform i when i preview this this is my chatbot right on the right corner okay so what you're going to do is click right click on the chatbot and you will be able to see inspect so click on inspect and you will be see a able to see a button over here now what is this button so this button basically toggles the chatbot and we'll what we need to do is create an auto click on this button specifically so what we're going to do is head over to chat gpt and tell chat gpt i would like to be an automatic on click event on this button name dot ktt 10 slash ptn now this is the exactly the same button that we seen before the same one we need to mention exactly the same one right if you if you make any errors it's not going to work so make sure that you mention the button specifically otherwise any other grammatical errors it can be totally fine now this has been done now i told chatgpt that i would like to create an automatic on click event on this button but i would like to make it after two seconds or three seconds after three seconds of the user being on the website now chat gpt what will do is give me a code to click an automatic button click on the chatbot okay so i'm gonna send this real quick and now chat gpt actually gave us the html content as as well but we don't do not need the html content we only need the javascript so go to the whole code and just copy this from this script and to this script now for every single AI chatbot that is built on chatbotbuilder.ai, you need to make sure that you only copy this and paste it on your code. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and head over to chatbotbuilder.ai. Well, I actually, I'm going to copy the same and I'm going to publish it. And now let's see how this actually works or not. So. Now I'm going to do is preview and I'm going to wait three seconds. One two and three open my AI chatbot automatically and exactly that we want it to accomplish. Now let's learn how to do for the Bopress one. Now as you can see this is our Bopress chatbot and there's a basic code it's not opening automatically right and it has its own chatbot it's a very small script that we took from the database. Now what we're going to do copy the script that we have and tell chat GPT that you would just like to automatically open up. Now make sure that you have a GPT-4.0 or GPT-4 Turbo. If, if you use GPT-4.0 Mini, the chat GPT will give you a wrong code. But if you use GPT-4.0 Turbo or GPT-4.0, then chat GPT will give you the correct answer. So I'm going to say, I, the above code is Uh, so now well, I'm reminding you guys again okay, that you must should use above GPT-4 or Turbo or GPT-4 O. I'm not I will not prefer you to use GPT-4 O Mini because it personally shows error. I've seen I've tried a lot of prompt, but it just gives you the wrong code. But if, if you're using GPT-4 O, if you're using the same code and the same prompt right now, you I'm giving right now, you will get a correct answer. So I'm gonna send it. And let's wait for ChatGPT to give you an, give us an answer. Just make sure that any JavaScript that you use, it should be covered in the script, right? Okay, so I'm gonna copy the script, right? And I'm gonna replace the full script. So I'm gonna go back to the one, the bot press code, and I'm gonna replace the whole script over here. 
and head to publish and let's see if this automatically open words ai chatbot or not so i'm going to go back to review wait and this is exactly what we wanted our ai chatbot auto right my cursor was there i did not press anything i swear to god if i even if i press this above my hands are above as well and it's gonna open up my ai chatbot automatically in three seconds or uh, more than three seconds you can adjust the time this the time is when you go there and if you this is 3000 right if you keep it to 2000 it's gonna take two seconds if you keep it to 0001 it's gonna open up automatically but depending on the speed of pop press of the own provider on how fast it loads now let's turn on the chat voice flow now voice flow is the same one or uh, the way we do for pop press and chatbot builder ai so head over to voice flow copy the code so this is the bot voice flow general code that voice flow provides i can preview this if you like that so this is a general code right there's nothing special it's not going to open up automatically i'm not clicking anything and head over to chat gpt now create a new chat because we don't want it to you know get confused in the, pre the previous history and paste it and use the same prompt that we use right i'm going to send this code to chat gpt and let's wait on how long this is going to take okay perfect now chat gpt just gave us the code i'm going to copy the code and i'm going to head back to the landing pages and go back to voice flow and i'm going to replace the whole code that we, we just got from chat gpt now there's a difference between chatbot builder ai and voice flow and wordpress in chatbot builder ai you will just paste that code beneath the script right that the code that chat gpt gives you need to make sure that you paste that code beneath the script or you can paste it above the script of the chatbot but in voice flow at wordpress you need to replace the whole code so i'm gonna replace the whole code and i'm gonna click on publish and let's preview this if this works actually or not and let's preview this if this actually works or not so it has been published i'm going to preview real quick and let's wait for three seconds i'm not touching anything and one two and this is automatically opened up and you can set the timer as you like now one more thing that a lot of people would like to do is that uh, I would just like to open it up on just like computer. I don't want to open it up on a mobile because it will cover the whole screen for my user. And now what we're going to do is tell ChatGPT that I would only like to open it on my desktop or not my phone. So I would only like to open this is, and let's send this. Okay. Okay. So now it will give us the code. Now. Uh, ChatGPT just gave us the code. Now let's see if this code actually works or not. So I'm going to copy the code. I'm going to get back to the landing page that we had. I'm going to hold, head over to voice flow and I'm going to replace the code that we had. Now let's publish. And let's see if this actually works or not. So I'm going to preview this and let's wait one, two and three. It is opening my AR chatbot on my desktop. Now let's switch to the mobile version, okay? And let's refresh the website and it should not open my AR chatbot. And it does not open my AR chatbot. Now it applies to anything you want, but just make sure on Chatbot Builder AI that you say that you would like to auto click or uh, you would like to automatically run click on event or just on the desktop and not on the mobile or on the pop press you can do the same just we did for the voice voice flow one and that is it now now the new part will be how to make our ar chatbot a pop-up message right so just it's gonna be very simple uh than we actually thought we just we can just use one simple line of prompt to actually make it work and the only thing that we need to do is just adjust a little bit of height of it okay because yeah so i would like to create like to create a pop-up message put on top of my chatbot that says uh hey there how can i assist you this now one more thing that we need to adjust is tell is this is very important okay because we don't want uh this 
pop up message to be only working perfectly on the desktop and not working on the mobile so we just have to say a one line to be i want it to be responsive responsive to all the screen sizes and let's just send it to the chat gpt and now chat gpt will just give me the code that we exactly want it to be so now there will be one more way that you can do it it's very simple you can just screenshot the ai and you can tell chat gpt uh just write the html code for this auto pop-up message and chat gpt will just give you the code now now chat gpt gave us a whole big code now we'll, we'll quite quite confusing one right so what i'm going to do is just tell chat gpt please make the code is one and as one code fully combined and it should be able to give me right so it's going to give me the now I'm, what i'm going to do is just going to copy the code and i'm going to head over to the voice flow part that we had and i'm going to paste just beneath this now the voice flow chatbot might open automatically so please ignore that and okay i'm going to preview this and as you can see it is exactly on where i want it to be and it's working perfectly like the way i want it to be now there's one more way that you can do is you can take the screenshot of this right so if you see on any website okay this is a really good uh pop-up message that i see just screenshot this right and i don't that and now paste it over here for ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT I would like to create a proper method like this to all screen sizes and let's see if this actually works or not. So as you can see, ChatGPT just gave us a code without us doing anything else. Now that's it for the video. If you like the code specifically bid responsive to all of the devices you can download the whole code in the, the description i have the link to paste it in the description to be able to download every single code and that is it for the video see you in the next video next video is going to be a full api tutorials on how to make apis work and a full guide on how to use apis so that is it for the video bye